How's it going, everybody? I'm doing very well on this Monday evening. Uh, before we get start, before we get started, um, I like to invite y'all to become a friend on Facebook. The link is below. Also, a friend on MySpace. If y'all use MySpace, that link is also below. And Twitter, that link is below as well. Um, I use a Twitter account to to talk about sports and to uh, advertise the MySpace, Facebook, and this YouTube account. The MySpace and Facebook pages are for covering Central Washington University athletics. Um, I used to do a radio show on uh, New Stock Radio 1240 KXLE, and that's when the Facebook pages and MySpace pages got started. And I have continued it, even though I have not. I'm no longer affiliated with that uh, radio station. So, check out them. The links are below. Become a friend and follower if you would be so kind. Okay, so that being said, um, I'm in complete Central Washington University mode despite the Mariners almost starting spring training games, Seattle Sounders FC uh, uh, going through their exhibition season, and of course you have the Washington Huskies men's basketball team uh, getting closer to the Pac-10 tournament. But for now, I'm in complete Central Washington University mode, and here is why. The Central Washington University men's basketball team has clinched the number one seed in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. Uh, this is huge. Um, in the past, this would mean that we would be the conference champions. But this year, with the addition of a school called Simon Fraser, we have a 10-team conference, which allows the Great Northwest Athletic Conference to put on a postseason tournament and a conference tournament. So the Wildcats have the number one seed going into that tournament, meaning we're the regular season champions. Um, and I'm excited for this because this means that Central Washington will host at least one play, uh, one conference game. It will be on Monday, February 28th. We do not know who we are going to play yet. If the tournament was to start today, we would play a university called the um, called Alaska Fairbanks or the University of Alaska. Um, whatever. I'm always referred to them as Alaska Fairbanks. Uh, but anyway, um, so. The Wildcats look like they are on pace to make the playoffs for the fourth year in a row. Here's how you make the playoffs in the at the Division II level. The country is divided into eight regions, and in order to make the playoffs, you have to be ranked eighth or above in a 10-team region pool and to go to the postseason. If you're ranked number one in the region, not only do you go to the playoffs, but your school actually hosts playoff games um even if your school is one and done in the postseason the that would be the site for um the first three uh for uh the first three games of that particular bracket so let's just say hypothetically speaking central washington is the number one seed and they lose in the second round in the, the tournament well then the school would still host a third game it would uh it would be part of the what we call the regional tournament Basically, it's like, um, you know how certain sites in the Division One level um, host the first two rounds of the tournament? You would add in a Sweet 16 game. So that's how it would work. Um, if you have any more questions about that, uh, just comment below. But anyway, so I bring this up because Central, uh, heading into last week, was ranked number one in their re region going into last week, and they were also ranked number ninth in the country at the, in the top 25 at the Division II level. Unfortunately, we did lose a game last week before clinching the number one seed, um, and so I am expecting the region uh, ranking and the national ranking to take a hit. So that means I think the Wildcats uh, need to win out until the, until the playoffs. We got two more regular season games, um, so we need to win to we need to win to still keep the vo voters thinking. Okay, Central Washington is for real. They didn't. They only slipped once against Western Washington. And then we need to win the conference tournament and just be outright great GNAC champions, and that will keep that number one record. I mean, excuse me, keep that number one ranking. Um, so that of course eliminates the possibility of resting starters, resting seniors, and that type of sort. The thing that I am a little uh, concerned about the this this Wildcat team is this. The men's basketball team is on pace, as I said, to go to the playoffs for the fourth year in a row. Despite all those playoffs appearances, we don't have any playoff uh, wins at all. We are usually one and done. We're a great regular season team, a lot of fun to watch, but when it comes time to the playoffs, 
either you know we get in foul trouble, we get injuries, or last year we kind of snuck into the playoffs. You know, we really weren't expected, but we, but we were able to get the eight seed, and um, so we were able to sneak in there. Um, but this year, this year being ranked num- as high as number nine in the nation, uh, definitely says that you know this team has the opportunity to do something special. Uh, but we need to get that playoff win, and that's the reason why I'm a little concerned going into the playoffs because, like I said, great regular season team, but one and done in the playoffs. But overall, really, really excited about the upcoming tournament, and I hope the Wildcats can win out before the playoffs start so we can host games. Maybe that will help, and if you have any more questions about that, just ask them below. Okay, so uh, go Wildcats. Uh, the conference tournament will start next week. And so I'll be previewing, uh, previewing some games, recapping some games. Definitely going to watch them online. Um, and I invite you to follow me on Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter. The links are below. So, uh, <laughs> so I will talk to you all later. And uh, go Wildcats. Thanks for watching.